When sad, I let my brain communicate. Lament that my clashing ideas debate, taking me back on a lengthy highway where pathway lives were left in disarray. I know it does not matter anymore. Through the highway soreness I must implore. I know days of competence unskillful when the disorderly brain is willful. I am not the strong master nowadays. Instead, I am sleeping in biting haze, afraid to take a vigorous gamble in places where the frail light will scramble. I have been known to let my life straddle in dipping rowboats without a paddle. I have known sly dice where highs and lows roll until its losers bury their dark hole. Working under distressing veiled layers through devious gamblers and bed players, I can sweep bygones under the mattress, then dream my every failure and success. Resting under the dripping yellow hues, where each syrupy dream will not refuse, a human being who wants to be renowned, or, as a minimum, not loaded down. The highway once calmed my agitation, soothing hostility of frustration, then ending brutal conflict and unrest with no sadistic pathways to protest. I have watched luminous days laid a waste, through every amorous nighttime I chased, in time it all crashes onto surface when there is no road on which to progress. Streets are not a symbol of achievement when living by wandering bereavement. All that lives is a roaming description in my rage with a traveled inscription. I have lived a highway reputation where streets are the only obligation once these roads were caressed and respected, riding past lives where I was neglected. Once these freeways kept my brain satisfied, now I wonder how much life was denied.